name is Jason Samarcina. I'm an interventional gastroenterologist at the University of California, Irvine. I've been practicing uh, interventional GI for about six years. Uh, we've been working with the 190 platform for about four years. So the a um, um, lot of things I can say about the 190 platform that we um, really uh, find extremely helpful. Um, one of the things is the um, uh, improved narrowband imaging. Uh, the narrowband imaging feature is something that I use literally every day, every single case, um, um, especially for my Barrett's esophagus patients. Um, narrowband imaging is really key for um, looking at the mucosa carefully and, um, and looking for areas of dysplasia. Um, in the esophagus. Um, I think that's one of the things that we are really lacking at um, is in studying somebody with Barrett's esophagus, looking for areas of dysplasia, I think is something it's difficult to do, but with narrowband imaging and with the 190 platform, we're able to look for characteristics of dysplasia uh, in a much better way than we could before. We had a hard time sometimes getting a clear image where there wasn't some motion artifact or some um, some kind of mucus, and um, with the pre-freeze, um, a lot of that is taken care of for you by by by, um, by the scope. The passive bending section of the scope has been modified and enhanced, and I really feel there was a big difference um, in our fellows when they switched from the 180 to the 190. Um, they were the ones that tell us that, wow, it seems like it's a lot easier to get to the cecum with these new scopes. And, um, and I totally agree. Um, the, the way the 190 um, scope can maneuver turns, um, it really does uh, put the forces in the right direction and you're able to get through the colon, I feel, much easier and reach the cecum more effectively with this new, new, new scope. Another feature I really wanted to highlight with the, um, with the 190 series is the near focus. Um, uh, especially for Barrett's esophagus patients, as I was mentioning with the narrowband imaging, um, we're able to um, better see the vascular structures. With the dual focus feature, um, the, um, not only do you get the, um, um, you know, the magnification, you get the clarity um, with a detailed up-close examination of that tissue. And, um, and I think in the kind of subtleties of that disease, you really need that kind of resolution, that kind of magnification to make these calls on whether something is precancerous or not. And I think the near focus is just a, a wonderful addition to the scope. And, um, and when I have to use a 180 series scope, say when I go to the main operating room where they don't have 190, I miss that feature dearly.